Next we have the Monster Burger, which consists of a cheese curd burger, jalapeno pepper or popper burger, bacon attack burger, the blue burger, the hangover burger, and then the fries and cheesecake. Hey everyone, Joel Hansen here, and we are in Bowling Green, Ohio. This is my first time doing a challenge in Ohio, and my really my first time stopping or really being in Ohio. I drove through it once, but like, first time in Ohio, pretty cool. So we are at BG Burgers, which is a burger place on Wooster Street, just down the road from the, I don't know if it's like Ohio, but Bowling Green, there's like a university center right down the road. They just got, uh, they just had a football game, there was a lot of people around. I think Bowling Green actually won. It was Bowling Green versus Toledo. Um, so what this challenge is, it is consisting of five burgers stacked on top, stacked on top of each other with, uh, I think it's two pounds of steak cut fries and then finishing off with a piece of cheesecake. You have 25 minutes to do the challenge to get it for free. If not, it's $50. But if you beat the record, which the current record is set by Randy Santel at 19 minutes and 55 seconds, you get $100 cash. That's definitely what we're gonna try to do today. So it should be a lot of fun. I think this is a pretty new challenge, so I don't know how many people have really done it or attempted it, but we'll go on in, we'll get some more information on it. I'm sure it's pretty good. And uh, let's eat some burgers. Everybody, so here's the challenge. So it's five different burgers stacked on top of each other. It's absolutely massive. Two pounds of fries. Uh, this is supposed to be about 4.2, four and a half pounds. A piece of cheesecake, I went with a banana frosted cheesecake. So if, if somebody did it like 12, 13 minutes, $150. Good luck to be Randy. All right. And then it's gonna be 100 bucks to be you. There you go. So we're gonna start here at the count of, let's say five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. All right, this got really messy really quick. All right, right, thanks so much. It looks delicious. Mm. It is delicious. Hey everybody, welcome to today's video and welcome to what is officially the tastiest burger challenge I have ever attempted. I'm dead serious. The tastiest burger challenge I have ever attempted. So if you've been following me for a little while, or if you've checked my channel out, I have definitely completed a few burger challenges. In fact, I would probably argue probably somewhere around 30, maybe even 40, at least 30, 40, maybe even 50 to be honest. I've completed a good number of burger challenges over the days, over the years. And this, to date, which is the end of October, basically November of 2019 this is the tastiest burger challenge I have come upon so as I mentioned earlier there was essentially five burgers five of their specialty burgers stacked on top of each other to make what they call the monster burger the bacon on this burger was so like juicy and spicy like really well cured um, just flavorful literally probably the best bacon I've ever had I asked for the burgers cooked medium rare and they were cooked perfectly so that is having a bit of pink on the inside but actually being cooked through not a raw burger by any means so the burgers were cooked perfectly the burgers tasted so fresh the sauces and all the toppings were just exquisite this burger literally was tantalizing my taste buds to an unfathomable degree uh, the staff were really nice as well. They were trying to kind of give some Randy Centel tips, um, such as saying like, oh, you should try to eat the burger first, don't eat the fries and cheesecake first, which is kind of like a Randy Centel style to do, do the meats first. Um, so, you know, they were really nice and they were, I want to say like, they wanted to see, or at least were open to seeing somebody win this challenge. So I really did appreciate that. Um, again, could not fathom how good that burger was. Even one of the burgers had blue cheese on it, and just with all the flavors, it was just absolutely, absolutely, absolutely exquisite. Um, I also had to pick a piece of cheesecake. 
Um, so I went with a piece of cheesecake, which the gentleman said tasted the least like cheesecake, because it's not my preference of dessert. For that, everybody, I'll let you get to the rest of the video. Again, so we had to beat the time of 19 minutes and 55 seconds to get $100 cash. We had to beat 25 minutes to successfully complete the challenge. And if we did not do either, we would get a $50 bill. But uh, we'll let you enjoy the rest of the video. I hope you enjoyed as much as I did. And let's tune in to see if Joel will complete this challenge. About three and a half minutes in. Tastes great. Huge piece of the bacon. We get all our bacon from the local butcher, along with all the meat, fresh, never frozen. It, the local butcher's been in business for a hundred years. Same recipe. It's the best bacon I've ever tasted. Wow. It's very good. Looks good. So I'm not really sure if you could tell, but I was really trying to take my time with this challenge and not beat the time limit too badly. Uh, really was emphasizing wiping my hands, taking drinks, getting every little last bit just to try to savor it. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Burger's gone. Cheesecake Thank you. You're welcome. Super tasty burger. Five and a half minutes in. Then we have the rest of it. So we are seven minutes, ten seconds in. I have a piece of cheesecake. That's about it. So 
the next person who beats my record gets $100, is that correct? That's yeah. right. Okay. So the next person who beats my record gets $100. So morally, I'm going to take my time for this cheesecake because I still have like 12 minutes to beat Randy's time yeah. and get my cash. So I'm just going to eat this, kill a little bit more time so it's not like an eight minute record. So somebody else can enjoy $100 another day. Ooh. So Banana Foster. And also you can just enjoy it because that's really amazing. Is it? Oh, my, I think so. I actually hate cheesecake. <laughs> this is a cheesecake factory though. Cheesecake, cheesecake factory, factory. Oh, right. does whatever. So, so I asked the... Are you the, from Toledo? Are you from Bowling Green, Toledo? No, no. no. So I asked the gentleman, which of the cheesecakes tastes least like cheesecake? And he said this one. And he was definitely right. This tastes like banana and I like it. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of like the sourness of cheesecake, if that makes sense. Yeah. But I really like the banana flavor of this. And I think it's calorie free, right? <laughs> yeah. Keep lying to yourself. So right now we are at nine minutes. Yep. Let's hold on to this for another minute. But everything was super tasty. Those are definitely some of the best burgers I've had in a very, very long time, if not ever. Juice cake was good, fries were about. How can you go wrong? Where are you from, Dolph? I'm from Canada. Canada. So I'll say nine and a half. Nine and a half. Nine and a half. Nice job. Thank you. Nicely done. Thanks, my friend. Yeah. That was fantastic. So just finish that up. Nine and a half minutes, the new record. So if you want hundred dollars, just come beat that record. It's delicious food. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, we took about ten minutes off Randy's time. Well everybody, I want to thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I sure did. And until next time, happy eating. And I want to give an extra special thank you to my good friend Aaron. Aaron, longtime subscriber. Man, thanks so much for coming out. It was a lot of fun. Appreciate it. Appreciate you coming out. Uh, what'd you think of today's challenge? Fantastic. Burger looked delicious and cheesecake as well. It actually was super delicious. So I'm sure Aaron's going to be back. He's in the area. If I'm ever in the area, I'm coming back for a burger. So if you're ever in the area, I'd also recommend it. Seriously, BG Burgers here in Bowling Green, 10 out of 10. Absolutely excellent. So that, everybody. You got it, take it easy. Take it easy, we'll go with that, how's that? So that football game I was talking about, they kind of stopped, but see all those campers and stuff? I guess this is where the game takes place, or somewhere around here. See it says something, something Bowling Green College Stadium. And there was, I, you, they might even still be kind of behind this car, but earlier there was a whole bunch of people uh, tailgating. So I guess Bowling Green won and they beat Toledo. And apparently there was a big like upset or uproar or something like that. Yeah, I'm gonna go a little forward. Let's see. So yeah, there's like, I don't know, people doing some kind of TV something something. So you got satellites and they're waving and still probably drinking beer, so. Bowling Green, there you go.